Now I want to move on to discussing Qiyam al-Layl in terms of Ramadan. Could you give us some information about Qiyam al-Layl in the month of Ramadan? All the advantages, all the blessings, all the excellence which are there, which I spoke in the earlier answer for Qiyam al-Layl generally, is multiplied in the time of Ramadan. Ramadan is the month of mercy as we discussed earlier and you get Musawab, you get multiple times, Musawab 10 times to 700 times. So all the excellent discussed in the normal time, in the month of Ramadan, it is multiplied. And the beloved Prophet Muhammad said, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, form number three, in the book of fasting, hadith number 2009, that anyone who offers the night prayer in the month of Ramadan with the belief and with seeking Allah's reward, all his past sins will be forgiven. And it's mentioned in the Sahih Hadith of Sahih Ibn Hibban, Hadith number 3438, that the person who comes to Muhammad and asks him that what if I say there is no God worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has got no partners and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if I offer five times obligatory salah prayers, and if I fast in the month of Ramadan, and if I pray in the night during Ramadan, if I offer the night prayer in Ramadan, and if I give zakat, then what is my position? So the beloved Prophet said that anyone who does all these things, he will be amongst the Siddiqeen, the righteous people, and among the shuhada, amongst the martyrs. So this is the importance. Everything is the same, but it's multiplied. It will be called amongst the righteous people and amongst those who are martyrs. And therefore, a person should see to it that he should offer the Qiyamul Layl in Ramadan. It's very important. He should not miss it. And furthermore, besides the spiritual benefits that all that are discussed in the previous answer, there are even physical benefits. When a person fasts for the full day, then during iftar he eats, and then if he offers qiyam al layl, it is good for the body. The body is fasting, then he stands, he in the posture of bowing, and then the sujood. It's a good exercise, and besides getting spiritual benefits, it even gets physical benefits. So as far as possible, a person should see to it that he should not miss the qiyam al layl.